For starters, you have to install the 4GB patch for Dragon Age Origins. You can find the link in the description. You have to download it, it's free and it's very easy to use. After you download it, the program requires the path of Dragon Age Origins. So let's locate the path. Right click on Dragon Age Origins, Properties and Open File Location. And that, there you go, that's the path. You, have, you can copy it and then open the application and then I I already have it here so but anyways let's paste it and there you go you have to pick Dragon Age Origins application and then click open and it's successfully patched it's that's the first step there are two types of installations first type is Overwrite, which is only a copy paste work, and the second type is Dragon Age Origins Mod Manager. Mod Manager is an application to install mods and it's very easy to use. First, let's take a look at the Overwrite installation. For example, I have Heavy Dwarven Armor Texture mod here. You can manually download it here. I already did. I have the mod here. So now let's go to our documents, uh, Bioware, Dragon Age, Packages, Core, and Override. If you don't have an Override folder here, you have to make it yourself. Open a new folder and name it Override, just like here. All you have to do is take the mod folder, drag it, and drop it into the Override folder. And the mod is ready to use. It's simple as that. You don't have to do anything. It's ready. And when it comes to mod manager, first you have to download the mod manager from Nexus Mods. You can find the link in the description. You have to download it manually. And then I will use skip the fade mod to show you guys how to install it. Um, the most important thing is the azip files can only be installed with the mod manager. You can't install it manually. You need a mod manager if you want to install a DAZIP mod. I have both of them here. This is the mod manager. First you have to unpack it and then go to mods, DAZIP and the folder is empty. Now we will drag and drop the mod we want to install. So let's install the script fade, the copy and paste. Now we can go back to mod manager application, double click it and there you go. Skip the fade is here. So now you have to just right, right click and pick install. Pick yes and it's ready. It's, it's simple as that. You can also find your installed mod here, skip the fade. You can see it if it's active or not and you don't have to do anything anything more the mod is ready so these are the two types of installations for dragon age origins if you have any more questions feel free to ask i will answer all of them uh, thank you for watching